Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. What do you get when you combine a politician from the 1980s, a bitingly clever scientist, and some really cute little monkeys? Today, we're going to talk about the Thatcher Effect. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the Thatcher Effect. So one of my favorite things to talk about with my students are perceptual tricks that mess with your head, usually called illusions. But they're more than just cool to look at. They can help us figure out how our brain works and hold the key to figuring out how we process some kinds of information. To demonstrate today's effect, I'm going to show you a picture really fast. Tell me what you see. If you said an upside down face, you're right, but did you notice anything else? Take a longer look. Does something look a bit off? The longer you look, the more likely you are to see that the eyes and mouth on this photo are flipped. That means that when the image is turned the right way around, it looks like the stuff nightmares are made of. This illusion is called the Thatcher effect because of the famous political figure first used for the facial photos, Margaret Thatcher. This effect was first found in the early 1980s, so Thatcher's face, as the Prime Minister of the UK at that time, was a pretty common face to see for the participants in the original studies. She was incredibly famous at the time. Just for comparison, check out this image that went viral about 10 years ago. That's Adele in 2016, being given the Thatcher effect treatment. But this effect does work on more than just famous people. When he first wrote about it, psychologist Peter Thompson's paper was incredibly short because this effect was so evident. But he does take time to get a quick jab in at Margaret Thatcher. When you first look at it, especially if it's only for a second, most people don't notice that anything is even wrong. So finding how strong this effect really is changed the way psychologists who study perception think about how we perceive faces. Up until then, common thought was that faces were perceived as individual features, kind of like those flip books you could get as a kid where you swap in, say, a different nose and make a brand new face. Instead, the Thatcher effect demonstrates that we use a more holistic approach when it comes to faces. Since most faces are set up pretty much the same way, eyes at the top, nose down in the middle, and mouth towards the bottom, our brains use that sameness as another clue in helping us recognize faces. We use the position or relationship between facial features as another tool to help us figure out who someone is. Faces are really important, and recognizing a friend or enemy quickly was something our ancestors needed to do to make fast decisions. So it kind of makes sense that our brains are configured to help us recognize faces faster than some other things. Think of it like a small cognitive bounce. The problem is, when faces are unusually configured, like say, upside down, our brains can't use that same cognitive bounce. Things are mixed up and not quite in the same order that we're used to seeing them. That means we have to look at each individual facial feature, so we don't notice right away if one or maybe even two of those features are flipped. One of the best things about the Thatcher effect is that it works for other animals besides just humans. Squirrel monkeys, rhesus monkeys, macaques, and chimps have all demonstrated that they too experience the Thatcher effect. That means that we have been looking at faces the same way since we shared a common ancestor millions of years ago. The Thatcher effect is just amazing. If you want to try it out on yourself or maybe your friends, I'll leave a link to a Thatcher effect generator down below. If you want to know more about cute monkeys or weird faces or the psychological effects in your life, Make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! So when psychologists flip someone's face to show the Thatcher effect, they call it being Thatcherized. And now my new life goal is to have my name turned into a verb. 